Cool for that. Right, gorgeous. Not too cool. In fact, a little bit warm out there Perfect. today. You said you spent your entire day raking leaves, right? Lainey, I don't <laughs> want to talk about it. I'm traumatized. Six <laughs> bags of leaves. And oh my still goodness. They're still up there, aren't they? <laughs> They're I still know. down there. <laughs> yeah. You got a busy, busy week, a couple yeah. weeks, I would say, as the leaves are starting to turn and they're going to start to fall across the area as well. We're going to take some leaves down in the mountains with a front that's coming in. And look at the view there at App State at campus in Boone. You can see some of those maples starting to shine there just a bit. The clouds, yeah, they're keeping the sun from shining, but we do have a little bit of rain in our forecast and some wind in the mountain forecast. Let's look at the temperatures right now. Pretty pleasant. You're close to 60 degrees in Boone and Sparta. You've got upper 60s of Pila Mountain as well as Mount Airy. Temps right now are in the low to mid 70s across the Piedmont Triad, but we had a high today of 77 degrees and a morning temperature of 52. When it gets unusually warm, this time of year, you know there's a cold snap on the way, and yes, it is headed our way. We're looking at some showers and thunderstorms out there tonight and a cold week ahead. So cold that we could be dealing with our first frost and freeze in the Piedmont Triad middle part of the week. So once that front comes through, we've got morning temperatures that are down near freezing, if not below. Wednesday and Thursday mornings in particular are going to be frosty. Some upper 20s in the forecast for the foothills and mountains. Make sure you're thinking ahead about your pets and your plants coming up over the next few days. It's usually in late October across the Triad that we get that first frost and freeze. Tomorrow morning will be mild, but there could be some rain coming down still. Most of this rain will fall late tonight and overnight, but lingering showers as you start out your Monday morning. 50 degrees for the mountains and temperatures in the upper 50s in the Piedmont Triad. You can see where the wet weather is out to the west. Nothing real severe right now, but there's definitely some cooler air behind it and significantly colder numbers that are dropping in right now over Minnesota and northern Wisconsin. So the high temperatures will be in the 50s to Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday this week. Now look at the rain right now. We've got clouds overhead, wet weather to the west. We have an opportunity to get an isolated thunderstorm that could reach severe limits over our mountain and western foothill communities later on tonight. Damaging winds would be the main threat with this. Haven't seen any severe weather so far, so that is good. But you're noticing some of the communities that could see an isolated severe storm later on tonight. Mount Airy up to Sparta and Galax. Right now it's just clouds. We don't have any wet weather, but notice that we will bring some rain weather in. This is around 9, 10, 11 o'clock tonight, and then some of that even continues overnight into very early tomorrow morning, where most folks will wake up with clouds, but there could be a lingering shower. So here's your forecast. We've got a breezy day tomorrow. West winds at times could gust to 20 miles an hour. It's not cold tomorrow. Temperature in the low 70s tomorrow afternoon with at least a little bit of sunshine. Breezy and temps in the upper 60s in the foothills tomorrow. Maybe a morning shower, but followed by sun and in the mountains we've got some sunshine too. Those gusts are up there at about 25 30 miles an hour. High temperatures are in the 50s. The real cold air will tumble in by Tuesday morning and that's where you're going to see those 20s and 30s in the forecast and on our seven day we've got opportunities for frost Wednesday morning and then we're looking at frost and freeze concerns Thursday morning definitely will feel like winter coming up this week. You want